hello viewers thank you very much for your uh, support for my past videos in this channel we are continuously discussing about the design and installation of uh, sprinkler system uh, sprinkler system and uh, what is the uh, concept behind the sprinkler system design okay today we are we are going to discuss about one interesting but very simple topic just let me share the let me share my screen why sprinkler why sprinkler to ceiling distance is important actually in nfe 13 insist to go with just to go with this. sprinkler to ceiling distance at maximum 300 mm let me show you this is image i got from nfa 13 handbook if you look the sc screenshot they mention that minimum actually that uh, 25 mm sprinkler to ceiling distance minimum what uh, 25 mm maximum 300 mm okay okay that minimum 25 mm okay this is a this is actually that uh, installation uh, installation part if it is go to less than 25 mm it's difficult to install this is what i got from that uh, site engineers so this is okay today we are mainly mainly focus about the 300 mm why this uh, 300 mm if it is exceed 300 mm what will happen why nfa insists to go with uh, this limitations this is what we are uh, discussing about uh, discussing we are going to discuss today my when I started, when I started my career as a fire production engineer, I believe sprinkler, sprinkler activation, activation through the fire flames, direct fire flames. Once it's fire getting started, the flames will reach the sprinklers. The sprinklers will activate it. This is what my observation, my colleagues are observe, my colleagues observation, my co-engineers observation. But I started to course and handbooks and articles. I found something right to show that one here i will show i will show that uh, fire sprinkler ga drawing for fire sprinkler if you see this uh, image it contain the it contain the bulb maybe the water what, what are all the parts contain the sprinklers this everyone knows this bulb contains the thermal sensing element one liquid once it uh, the sprinkler realize the heat from the atmosphere it will get expanded and it will get burst after that water will release this thread will installed at the pipe up to here that water water will lock after burst the water will released and water will release and uh, it's taking as a sprinkler activation okay as i told you earlier if it in the sprinkler is not activated through flame means then how it activated Actually, uh, as per the monitoring from the uh, fire committees like NFA, FM Globals, they have made, they have provided many informations. They have monitoring data. They made the fire test and monitoring the results. Once it fire getting started from some locations, what will happen? What is a realistic scenario? Fire, once fire getting started from the fire, fire plum will, fire plum will create. What is fire plum? Fire plum is nothing. It's a combination of smoke, heat, and dust from the fire. This is called fire plum. Okay. This fire plum gradually, gradually grow and hit the ceiling. After that, gradually increase the depth in the below the ceiling. This is what our sprinkler, our sprinklers will located here near to the ceiling. Okay. So once it realizes the heat, so if the the sprinkler will get the sprinkler bulb will bulb will get burst the water will discharge so here you can uh, clearly understand sprinkler not activate through the flame it is activated through the heat of this fire plum okay so if it is uh, if really if it is activated through the flame means uh, that is not a, the, the actually our belief is uh, wrong okay at next uh, that uh, we saw the image from the NFA 13. They have mentioned 300 mm. Why this 300 mm? We raised we raise the question at the starting of the video. If it is sprinkler installation distance from the ceiling increased, 
getting increased go below 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 means what will happen this uh, fire plum this fire plum depth will increase once it is getting increase once it is getting reach a sprinkler installation position then only it is started so once you are uh, once you are increasing once you are fixing your sprinkler far from ceiling it is uh, directly proportional to absence of activation okay the sprinkler will not the sprinkler will get delay uh, delay activation or it will not activate so and the sprinkler activation time will increase means what will happen the fire will spread the total area will damage so the damage will be definitely will increase this is the reason nfa insists to go with place your sprinkler on near ceiling then they uh, they provide the value also it should not at any case it should not exceed 300 mm this is a concept if it is exceed 300 mm uh, the sprinkler will get delay activation or it will not activate this is a concept uh, through as per today the today discussion we are getting two informations actually our uh, what i tell is uh, why sprinkler should uh, why sprinkler to the ceiling distance is important this is this is what sprinkler to ceiling distance is uh, important so two major informations if you are uh, sprinkler act not activated through flame it activated through fire plum and if you are in, if you are uh, putting your sprinkler more than 300 mm it will get delay activation this is a summary of video today and viewers if you have any uh, clarification doubts please put on comment section definitely i will reply you and if you want any kind of videos related to fire production not only sprinkler systems uh presently we are focusing the sprinkler systems uh, videos but if you want to put any videos regarding like other part of fire production like stand pipe system water space system clean agent uh, foam based suppressions like uh, power plant fire production any kind of fire product related to fire production uh, i can ready to put the make a video and put for you uh, th again thanks for your support thank you very much